Welcome to the Home Ownership Podcast presented by Momentum Realty, located in Hanover, Massachusetts. This series covers all things real estate and the best practices for buying, selling, and owning properties. Now here's your host, Sean Maloney. Welcome to episode 125, List Your Home After the Fourth of July. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Maloney. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about why to list your home right after or maybe possibly just before the 4th of July and even other major holidays. Moving towards a major holiday, people tend to not want to list. Coming in right before or just after a holiday makes your listing stand out with less competition. This is an important factor to think about. Market right now is crazy, so inventory is low, but the lowest it goes is right around a holiday. Coming into last weekend, we had just about 5,000 homes on the MLS system locally. Coming into Thursday this week, right now, we have 4,100 homes. That means 20% or so of the market went under agreement, but this also means the market is 20% smaller. So those who are putting on their houses today, tomorrow, Yes, they're going to get some attention. Their days on market may slack a little bit in the idea of you can't have an open house this weekend. Oh, you could, but you may not have the attendance. But we can talk more about that on vacation land in just a moment here. But knowing that just listing right after it, you're going to be a standalone property. You're going to have all eyes on your property, which all eyes on a property leads to the most money possible. When buyers have limited opportunities and they need to move, they make decisions that they make offers that are higher than others. Now let's rewind for a second. As a vacation place, you may want to list just before the holiday because of the fact that now you have all the vacationers in town renting homes and looking at local homes because when people are in town, whether you be a Cape Cod waterfront property or you be a property in downtown Hingham, you're going to see more people in town for the holiday, people back, people out on those vacation type mindsets, and that's when they think to themselves, wow, I really actually like this community. This is a really nice place. I really like it to it. Why don't I invest in a house nearby? And while they're there on the weekend, if you have an open house, maybe on the third, you're going to get people in. You could do it on the fourth, but remember, people get pretty busy around the fourth of July. They also would want to go earlier in the day. So if you're going to do an open house on or before fourth of July, make it earlier in the day because folks are going to be out wanting to do stuff. But not too early because I would say ever since I've been in real estate, been in about 13 years now, people have gotten a little bit later at getting up. So what I mean by early 10, 11 o'clock start time instead of a 2, 3 o'clock start time. I used to start them around sometimes even 9 a.m. I do open houses recently around 9 a.m. and I'm sitting there by myself waiting for people and right around 10, 11, the activity starts to pick up. Now remember... Both in spring and late summer, we see a surge in home sales. List your home now in order to take advantage of that second rush. It's funny, people always work mechanically with this. I would say with the work at home world and the changing environment of online schooling and things, we're seeing it kind of spread out a little bit more, but there'll always be the spring and late summer rush. Spring rush, it's clear to see why. Spring rush is when houses look best, right? Come out of the winter, all the plants are in bloom, the grass is green, you can get out in the yard and see it, the pools are open, all the different things that best show that property. But the late summer rush, the second rush, what's that about? So that one's about the idea of getting in a property before winter time. Moving during the winter can be a pretty miserable time. If you get a bad weather week, you can end up with snow, really difficult to move. So moving in the summertime, it may be hot, but at least you know that you're not going to be trumping through snow, especially up here in the northeast. The wintertime in the southern part of the world, they have a little less uh, ability to sell during that time because of the fact that people just tend to be locked down a little bit when school is going on. Not everybody, but people who have school children often make decisions based on that. Remember, closings take 30 to 45 days on average, so listing your home now ensures that if a family with children were interested, they would be able to close before the school year starts. That's an important one to remember no matter who you are. Well, we don't always just sell to families. Families make up a big portion of these multi-bedroom home purchases, which means that if you have a home that you think a family may move into, you want to make sure that they can get in there before the school year starts. Kids who are on the COVID 
school from home thing last year. People seem to be moving around a little bit more, but hopefully everyone will be going back to normal school this year, which means that they're going to want to be in before that school time starts. So if you come in right after the 4th of July, the people will have time to make the offer, go through the process, do the home inspection, get the purchase and sale agreement signed, and be in the home somewhere from, say, you know, August 1st up into maybe mid-August. And then if it takes a little bit longer, maybe even late August. But knowing that they have time to move in, get comfortable, get situated, learn about the neighborhood, start to meet people, enroll their kids in the new school system, and move in smoothly. The other thing is, remember that people just in general like the idea of moving when the market's busy. The market gets busier. One reason that a lot of people don't talk about is because agents wake up. Lots of times, agents get sleepy in the winter. They sit back. They're not chasing as much. They allow the fluctuations in the market to dictate how it's going to go. And because of that, it's almost like because they believe that that's how it works, they don't pay full attention during that off time, so they're not generating those listings. The 4th of July is a great time of year to sell a house. Another thing is, back to those rental folks, for a lot of people who have rental homes, especially out on Cape Cod, the 4th of July is going to be one of the highest paid weeks of the year. And if you were to put your house up for sale right now, right after that 4th of July is over, you're going to end up coming on the marketplace and you're going to be able to capitalize off the rest of your summer rental rates and then you're going to hand the property off to the next person, which means that they're going to be the ones that have the carrying cost of a winter. So in order to maximize your profit, you can sell at the very end of the summer, which listing just after 4th of July will help you do. Remember, some people like to sell in the springtime, but if you have a rental property that's well rented and you sell it at the beginning of the springtime, you're going to lose out on all the capital that you would normally bring in during the high rental season. Well, not always does this work. Sometimes it's just best to offload that property because you're done. You don't feel like dealing with it. Maybe you're moving farther away or maybe you just didn't rent it that much. Most people would like to just stay in their property until the end of that because they're going to bring in that capital. I know I've been looking at properties out on Cape Cod recently. And we're talking the tune of multi-hundreds, if not thousands of dollars per day to rent these properties. So this means that you're going to miss out on 30 to 60 days worth of rentals. This is why a lot of people hang on to them till right after the 4th of July. Some other things that's nice about it is if you sell just after the 4th, a lot of people get their properties really in top shape right now. They spend time. They really get them tuned up because they're going to have people buy for the fourth. So when your property is looking nice, the pool's open, the weather's hot, everything's looking great. It's another great reason to sell at that time of the year. I hope everybody has a happy and safe fourth of July and give us a call if you're looking to list your home this fall or even late summer. Remember, try to get the properties on if you want to get the maximum amount of eyes by no later than say the end of July because after that you start to get into the season where people are just starting up school and closing when you're just starting up school and when you're just starting back at the jobs and you're just kind of closing down for the fall slash winter time can really pull down the prices. If you're looking for a great agent, reach out to us. We'll be happy to set you up with one of our move mentors. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope you've subscribed. If you haven't already done so, please do. Also, please tell your friends and family about it. Check out our Facebook group, our blog, as well as our newsletter, all under the name Homeownership. Thanks so much and have a great day.